Welcome, this is Tennessee end of course practice test for Algebra 1. This is test number 3, but question number 39, which you can divide 39 by 3. Weird. Um, so state the domain and range of the relation below. Now, these are coordinates that you've been given and then some answers. Usually we look at these as x and y. For domain and range, I tend to think of the abbreviation for doctor, which unless you live in like m the middle of the Old West and 1800 is DR instead of DOC. I've heard that a lot lately. This is not the abbreviation for doctor people. Talk to your second grade English teachers. So I'm going to do the abbreviation for doctor. So X comes for Y, so this kind of works. Just go ahead and write doctor under all of them. So essentially anything in that first set would be my domain. Uh, I want to put them in numeric order. So I'm going to have 1 and then 2. You don't write them twice. You only write them once. It'll help me later make a, uh, a decision about whether or not this is a function. So you never write them twice if they show up twice. And once you use them, you should probably mark them out. 4. And by you, I mean I should probably mark them out, though I don't keep rambling. So there's my domain. On the other side of it, I have the range. And I want to do the same thing, try to make a as close to in numeric order as possible. So negative 4 negative 2, positive 2, and then I've got a couple 5's, but I'm only going to show 1. So as you can see, I actually have less domain and range uh, unique values than I have total values. It might make it easier to find your answer, uh, which is right here. So not a big deal. Domain and range, if you can think of doctor, match everything up all nice and pretty. These should be really simple ones for you to earn some points on that you need to get to that old uh, proficient score you're looking for.